welcome to jquery's god series part 5 in this part we are going to look today the paging part in the previous section what we saw was the paging using a collection i hope you remember that this was a service which was which used to run a dummy employees and this is the method which we are going to use today which actually talks to the db and if you check my db for a second if you remember this was my table inside which i got id i got name i got expert level and that's all i have and if you look at the data one single solitary second just hang on and as you can see all the data is up and running right so this is the data today you're watching on the screen the last time we got this whole data from a collection which was a dummy collection so if you remember this was a dummy collection right and i used to get all the list of dummy employees blah 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 right so that was pretty simple and the funda was very clear whatever you pass the index that index is gonna get skipped and the next file records gonna come so it doesn't matter if you go for previous you go for next it's your choice what index you are passing right so uh, let's go to the get employee method and if you remember the ui is pretty same there's nothing changed this is the data container in which actually i populate my data this whole table is created on the fly and i have written the code for these three events previous next and reset right so we're going to take a look at them one by one i think in previous session we have saw that already how i have done but anyways we're going to do the recap right so this is a container where i'm going to dynamically drawing my table right and these are the three buttons right previous next and reset right and this is a hidden variable which maintains my index which i require for the paging purpose correct so let's go up let's go up and let's take it easy so when the page load for the first time you see the document dot ready and it has a functionality called as load employees its job is to load an employees which you're seeing right now on the screen right it does some job what it does we'll look at that later on next as you see is a reset button on reset button you're doing a reset method for previous you're doing a previous and on next you're doing next but the important point is reset and this is almost same there's no such difference basically the uh, when we're calling an index uh, like you know the reset function you're passing the current index as zero so you know basically you're gonna get the record from zero to five so that's not that big deal so the main change come into the next and the previous section so let's take a look into the next function in the next function what you do is you don't know what is your current index right now that's why you use the hidden variable so what you do is you take the value out of the hidden variable you don't know what uh, your hidden variable is holding right now so you get the value and when you say next next means you are supposed to add five because we are only interested in five records so based on that you assign your current index next time you check if your index right now actually in my db i got 20 records that's why i have kept the count i mean you can fetch the count from the db if you want you have you can apply your own math 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 here right so all i'm doing is if my current index is less than 20 so i'm assigning a new index okay to this hidden variable and i'm simply loading our employees right and if my index is greater than 20 then i'm saying okay boss we have reached an end this is it all right and in the previous function if you see i'm doing exact reverse this is plus five this is minus five boom and if my index is greater than zero then only then i'm going to set my hidden variables value and the important part is load employee function this function does what the data container what you see is the div over here first my job is to clear that div right so i'm clearing that div then i'm making a ajax call I'm saying hey type is post URL where you're supposed to hit is like data service dot ASMX file inside of which you're going to call a method called as get employee with paging. So there you are get employee with this paging and next what you do is you pass an index called as a current index which you have recently you have set. So this current index is going to change every time like when you do previous next and all. This content type content type is nothing but like what exactly the content you will be sending out there what is the return data type is going to be a json on success what job you are supposed to do and the very important point to remember is when i say data i'm passing a parameter the name of this parameter and this parameter is same right so that thing you need to take into account 
on the success function what I'm doing is I'm dynamically creating a table first of all I'm creating a table then I'm creating TR and TR is in it means like I'm creating this portion right once I have done that after that I'm doing a dot each function which contains all the information about my data like which I'm fetching from the database how we are fetching it we're gonna see later but right now just see that this is how we are rendering the data once the data is completed we are shutting down the table we are appending the whole table which contains your actual dynamic table we are appending that into the div we are simply throwing that into the div and then we are assigning a, some simple jquery math uh, like in the table if you find any tr for odd and even a supplier colors colors you can paint do anything like whichever you want if you're a girl choose a pink color be happy whatever all right then for header you're applying some color if in case of making a jquery call all right in case of making any uh, problem if, if there's any problem then jquery will prompt you with this error okay there was a problem right so go and look into that so that's it this is what we have on the ui side nothing spectacular just all you have to do is uh, make a proper call and you have to fill your table correctly all right so this is it and now let's go to the data service part now you might be wondering like for this all you did was skip and take yeah this is almost same as that but there's a little change in the query now we are dealing with the sql in the end the return type is going to be the same list of employee list of employee right so we are not changing anything all we are doing is like we are querying to the database and we are getting the data what exactly we need so you can see we are passing a current index here we are getting the index and we are holding in our hand now the query is select star from and then you again have the row number over the row number all right i'm sorry over and then you have to order by uh, some special entity and then you generate the row, row number id and blah 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 into a result and then you say from where to where you want to select if you are using a mysql then i i believe it's pretty easy you have to provide a start index and an end index and based on that you can easily fetch a record once you're ready with that so you can see i got two parameters over here i prepare my sql command i prepare my connection which is up here all right and i got already in my web.config once these two guys are set like as i said like index is 5 so i'm going to be like you know 0 plus 5 if index is at 5 then this is going to be total 10 so i'll be fetching from like you know 5 to 10 records then i open the connection then i check my like you know uh, reader using a reader i check okay do i have any rows if i have some data start reading it and start filling into the employee table i'm sorry not the employee table, employee collection once i do that i shut down everything i wrap the everything into the try and catch you know to get the error and all in the end return the employees and that's it you get the perfect result what you're seeing in here you can do like uh, previous previous is not gonna work then you're going to do next then again next next and you know you can you can see everything like how it is working and how simple it is and apart from that you can do is like you know f12 as usual what we do and you can see how much data is flowing over the wire so like I'm gonna turn on net part and I'm going to enable it's gonna make a while it's gonna wait alright so let's refresh and as you can see I got to as soon as my page got loaded I made the first request was this to an employee how much time it took it took 13 milliseconds can you guys see I don't think so so it took like you know as you can see here and god damn it i can't touch it but as you can see it took like you know i mean the the data over the wire transfer was 525 bytes only next let's try again again 534 bytes so like you are seeing a lot of reduction in the data that's what we want right so now let let's say if i do something crazy like you know instead of doing this all five thing on previous and next let's say if i make it 10 I make it 10 in here all right it's gonna take a while but just hang on to it you can see the data is being transferred over the wire and how easy it is to you know manipulate this thing and now everything seems to be okay now I need to make some changes onto the service side because on the service side I'm just passing 5 so it would be a 10 anything else uh, everything seems to be okay so let's run it one more time and this time you will see 10 records hopefully or you will see an exception okay that was dum dum dummy 
F5. So you see the 10 records one at a time. So let's see how much data we have cost this time. So we have costed like 1 KB this time, right? So it depends, like you can control your data. Okay, you have reached the end, you can go previous, you can view the data, right? Again, it is like 1 KB, right? So uh, basically, I hope you got the idea what exactly uh, we are trying to achieve, right? I think there's some mistake in the code. Uh, I think I forgot five somewhere, and that is the reason why it is pissing me off. Why I can't see that five? Mm, I don't know. Uh, maybe in here. I don't know. But the data is not coming. I mean, like as expected. This was not my order. If I do next, I can go like five, five, five. But something has changed, which was not expected, right? But at least you got the idea how paging was. The important thing was the jQuery call and the query. This row number is a query. It depends like what provider you are using. That matters. And plus the Ajax call. Now try the same thing like you are, you have you know the big page and you got huge controls in which somebody is trying to push you to use a grid view and then you can see the data flowing over the wire. You will see a lot of reduction if you are using this technique, right? So I hope this video will give you the idea like uh, what I was talking about and uh, if you really like uh, this video then do me a favor give me a thumbs up to my videos share my videos with your friends to help them subscribe me on YouTube Facebook and Twitter add your comments and let me know your thoughts you can request a video if you have some good thoughts in your mind and if you are an expert if you think you can do this better please let me know your comments or I, I'll, I'll do some improvement to that alright so thank you for watching this video thanks